Tonight we're beginning with an effort in one county to offer help from social workers when responding to emergency calls and for somebody who might not otherwise ask for help. Casey police say about 80 to 90 percent of calls they get have some kind of need for a social worker, something the police department doesn't have expertise in. So that's why local groups believe and now integrated social work program is necessary. News 19's Rachel Rip explains what the program looks like and how Serve and Connect is helping. Since January, the Casey Police Department has implemented a new social work program that was first launched in West Columbia. If we help one person, it's a success. And Casey Chief of Police Chris Cowan says they've certainly helped more than just one, more like over a dozen. The services that a social worker or the expertise that a social worker can provide um, would far be more benefit than, than handcuffs or a police report or a, the back of a patrol car or police services at all. So a social worker program is designed to give us services that maybe traditional policing hasn't been able to provide. Social work intern Murray Smoke is a master's program student from Walden University. The police department provides her office space and Serve and Connect, a local nonprofit group, recruited her, screened her and monitors her progress with the program. She tells me she goes through police call logs to see if anyone shows a sign of need, like in the categories of mental health, finance, employment or therapy. Once she reaches that person and connects them, it feels great. Um, I mean, anytime somebody talks to me, you know, I'm always a little surprised um, that there's so many people that appreciate us reaching out, even if they may not necessarily uh, need any resources. A lot of times when we talk to people, they'll tell us, thank you for reaching out. You know, we really appreciate it. Smoke says oftentimes people just want someone to listen. They want that human connection and contact from someone making sure they're doing well. Reporting in KC, Rachel Rip, News 19, WLTX. All right, thank you, Rachel. And according to Serve and Connect, the first year or two will have interns with a future goal of hopes of hiring part-time employees for the job. Mm -hmm.